Construction and maintenance of our nation's highway system is costly in both time and money. In order to build more durable roads for tomorrow, it's important to know today how pavement materials will perform under repeated heavy loads. But how do you test for performance and durability before the road is built? How can you tell what 20 years of loading will do to a road? If we could speed up the clock and see how the roads will be holding up many years from now, comparing the durability of various materials would help us to choose the best materials and designs today. Employing cutting-edge technology, the Louisiana Department of Transportation and Development has become a trendsetter with a sort of time machine. DOTD, in cooperation with the Federal Highway Administration, has developed a pavement research facility which is operated by the Louisiana Transportation Research Center, or LTRC. Fast and reliable tests have been developed to analyze road durability. These tests will help researchers compare materials, designs, and construction procedures to improve long-term performance. The Louisiana Accelerated Loading Facility, called ALF, is the second of its kind in the nation. Using accelerated traffic loading, ALF makes it possible to compress 20 years of loading into as little as one month. The 100-foot-long accelerated loading device simulates and accelerates truck loads for pavement testing. With the computer-controlled load trolley, the weight and movement of traffic is simulated repetitively in one direction and can repeat this load every 10 seconds around the clock. ALF will be used on a six-acre pavement research facility developed by LTRC. Test pavements will be built with full-scale construction equipment and will closely simulate normal highway construction. Strain gauges and other instruments will be placed below the surface of each test section. They measure pavement response to the load and relay the information by wire to the computer-controlled data acquisition system. ALF simulates dual wheels on a single axle truck. The load is adjustable from 20,000 to 42,000 pounds per axle in 2,000 pound increments. Two people are required to start the 55-ton loading device, which will then operate around the clock. Operation is controlled automatically by a personal computer. Another PC is used to collect, monitor, and store data electronically, allowing instant access to pavement response information on moisture, temperature, and strain. It is possible to control load variables to meet the objectives of individual research experiments. By changing weights and tire characteristics of the trolley assembly, researchers can accelerate damage effects. The facility is operated by three permanent staff members who are augmented by research engineers and other staff for each project. An administrative board and a technical advisory committee representing DOTD, state universities, and the FHWA provide technical direction for the facility. The LTRC Pavement Research Facility is strategically located across the river from Baton Rouge near LA-1, with easy access to rail, interstate highway, and intracoastal waterway traffic. Materials are readily transported to the site for accelerated loading studies in cooperation with other transportation agencies. Almost $3 million have been invested in the development of this state-of-the-art facility. The FHWA contributed approximately 55 percent, and Louisiana DOTD 45 percent. Fabrication of the device by Engineering Incorporated, Hampton, Virginia, represents a cost of $1.8 million. In addition to the ALF device, other equipment is available at the facility and at LTRC. This includes both the Dynaflect and falling weight deflectometers, pavement profiler, a weather station, and a core rig. Existing research capabilities at LTRC include the bituminous concrete laboratory which offers standard asphalt, cement, and mix testing, the materials testing system for fundamental mix characterization, and strategic highway research program test equipment. The Soils and Geosynthetics Lab performs standard soils testing as well as fundamental materials characterization and state-of-the-art geosynthetics evaluation. The first experiment to be performed at the facility will test variations in base course materials and design, including 
identification of base materials which will experience significantly less shrinkage than soil cement, comparison of different cement water ratios and mixing techniques, and improved methods of strain measurement. The ALF device is an important bridge between laboratory materials characterization and long-term performance under heavy traffic loads. DOTD, other state highway agencies, the FHWA, universities, and industry will work together for the betterment of our nation's transportation system.